Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, July 20th. This is for all signs. It's just like a daily energy. It's what I'm picking up on today, a message that the collective needs to hear. Um, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. You know, there's a lot of overanalyzing going on, overanalyzing other people's opinions, other people's ways, your life, um, overanalyzing anything, okay? And I say that because I saw the Four of Cups and I saw it again. I saw it again. So, you know, the Four of Cups is, you know, not receiving attention. That you, that you want or that you need or you're dealing with somebody who's not receiving attention so they act out and you know when you get the four of cups there's there could be many reasons there could be that you're bored you're bored or you're unhappy you're discontent or it could be you're dealing with somebody that's in that mode so I feel like there is a lot of um, discontent going on within within the world within the energy right now a lot of shifts are going on people are very opinionated and opinions are coming out because people are hurting you know they want to be heard and with the four of with the four of cups I want to be heard I want to be seen so just just keep in mind that this is a it's like a universal energy yeah not everybody's going through it but a lot of people are okay understand that because somebody else is discontent not receiving attention from whoever they are reacting in a negative manner okay so just keep that in mind. Um, somebody is looking for more and they may be doing it in a negative way. So. So we have a couple of these. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands reversed with the Eight of Wands upright. So somebody is absolutely overanalyzing. Okay, the Knight of Wands and the upright does not analyze. So they just take action. They, they, they don't think about it. They just go. It's very impulsive energy. With it being reversed, somebody's thinking too much. Think, 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 think. The Eight of Wands, that is, <sighs> fast movement, somebody's ready, ready. So it's contradictory, let's see what comes up. Five of Pentacles reversed, somebody is starting to come out of the darkness. They're ready to come out of this darkness. That's what this is. I'm ready to come out of this darkness, this dark period. The hermit reverse makes a lot of sense. Somebody is absolutely ready to come out of the darkness. They've taken the time to analyze. Now, the hermit upright is taking that time to analyze, and sometimes it can go overboard. So I feel like there's been a time of introspection, a time of loneliness. And sometimes, in like the Four of Cups, loneliness can be daunting. So I feel like somebody has been really overwhelmed in their own loneliness and now they're wanting to step out and they could be stepping out in the wrong way. Some people are, not everybody. There's absolutely a dynamic of I'm ready. I'm ready to be.
be appreciated. I'm ready to appreciate. I'm ready to open up. I'm ready to come out of this darkness, whatever it is. The Nine of Wands reverse. Somebody is giving up on their stance, you know. Um, letting, letting their guard down. It's time. It's time to face doubt and fear. It's time to not worry about it. With the, nine, with the Nine of Wands reverse, I'm going to let go of this worry. I'm going to let go of this analyzation. <laughs> but the thing is, it feels like some, some people are handling it the, the wrong way. Somebody's still clinging to the past, clinging to the memories, thinking about it way too much. Whatever has hurt them, the Six of Cups reversed underneath that, that Knight of Wands. They've, they're thinking about the past so much and it's, it's causing them hurt. Four of Pentacles reversed. It's time to release. Ready to release. Ready to release this past. Are you ready? Are you? Are you ready to come out of this darkness? Are you ready to step out into the light? If you are, you're going to have to let go of that wounded warrior mentality. And let your guard down. And not be so defensive. Six of Swords, yeah. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to bring peace and harmony to my life. I'm ready to leave this storm behind me. But to leave the storm behind you, you seriously have to let go of the of the fight. You know, the fight to fight. Oh, the tower. Amazing. This is a rude awakening. It's a crash. Sometimes it takes something drastically falling apart for change to happen. For somebody to take this time out, to go into introspection, to figure out where they're going, what they're doing, and who they are. So for some of you, there has been a rude awakening, or there is about to be. Because somebody has been stalling, they've been stuck, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, going backwards. And the universe is just like watching your demise. You know, a lot. somebody has been really be discontent with where they are. This loneliness. They're ready to step out. They're ready to see the light. I'm ready to find my happiness. But losing opportunities along the way because of their negative thinking. Their negativity. Their need to defend. Their defensive mechanism. You have to let that go. You have to let go of wanting to prove yourself. That door needs to be closed. That's darkness. When you see the light, you don't need to prove because you're happy. You're happy with who you are. Somebody is ready to move on to this much better place to leave the storm behind. They're ready.
But in order to do that, you have to release. You have to stop resisting change. You need to stop being obsessed with whatever this is that you're overanalyzing. There is an overanalyzing obsession here. Okay? There is. trying to control you need to let go of your need to control with the wheel of fortune reversed somebody is trying to control you can't control everything so I feel like the energy of today is somebody is missing opportunities for happiness because they're they're, they have their guard up. They're always wanting to defend. They're lonely. So they're going about it the wrong way. They're going about getting attention the wrong way. You ever heard of negative attention? I will get attention even if it is in a negative manner. If you're ready to come out of this darkness... You have to step out of the storm. You have to. You have to make yourself. You have to allow yourself. You have to you have to find the strength to make the move. To make the change. Four of Pentacles, make the change. The Four of Pentacles reversed is no longer holding on to it. Releasing. Ready to release what doesn't serve me. The past that someone has been clinging to. Release what you've been clinging to. Stop thinking about it. The time is now to come out of this darkness and move on. Step into the light. The storm is over. Step out of it. It's time to stop being so defensive. It's time to stop fighting about what or fighting for something that isn't meant to be it's not destiny it's not meant to be and perhaps that's the rude awakening that this isn't meant to be whatever it is and, and sometimes it hurts when you get that rude awakening when there's this shock you know the initial break is a shock It puts you in time out whether you like it or not. And sometimes, you know, if you think about grief, whether you're grieving a person that is alive or a person that has died or somebody that has left your life, whether, however that case is, one of the stages of grief is anger. One of them is shock. And after shock comes anger. So I feel like this is something that somebody is going through right now. I think that they've had some sort of loss and they're going through a period of anger. Somebody is. And begging for attention during this time. Somebody could be going through some sort of midlife crisis because they've been rejected. Holding on to that rejection is only bringing you backwards. It's not bringing you good luck and good fortune with this wheel of fortune reversed. This, this rude awakening is happening or has happened to change your course for the better. But somebody is in denial and unable to let it happen, trying to control it.
clinging to the past, unable to take action, even though they're ready for happiness, ready to release. If you're ready to release, then release, then let go. So that you can bring peace, harmony, and serenity, and calmness to your life. It's a blessing in disguise. Whatever rejection this was, or whatever breakdown this was, whatever is falling apart is absolutely a blessing in disguise that is brought to you via the universe as a gift, but somebody doesn't see it like that, and they're trying to stay where they're at, and it's bringing them backwards. The magician reversed. Somebody isn't using their resources. They're not manifesting a new beginning. Unwilling to take action. Unwilling to bring success to their lives because they're, they're living a lie. Not living in the now. It's time to live in the now. Right now. Stop clinging to the past. It's only bringing you backwards. Clinging to the past. They're mirroring each other. Six of Cups reverse, Wheel of Fortune reverse is bringing you backwards. The devil. Oh, yes. Manipulation, self-sabotage, lies. What does the devil bring in? Lies. Karma. Things that aren't good for you. It's toxic. Addictions. Escapism, obsessions. You can free yourself from these chains, these demons that are causing so much thought and despair and hate. Whenever you're ready, you can you can break free. You can break free. But you have to be willing to do so. It's only bringing you backwards. There's definitely manipulation here, and it's self-manipulation. And you know, you're probably like, well, how can I manipulate myself? You can manipulate yourself by not taking the step forward, by making excuses, by acting negatively, by refusing to see the truth. By keeping the blindfold on. By lashing out at others because you're hurt. Somebody needs to let go of that mentality. Break free. Break free of these demons. You have, you have the power to break free. The magician reversed is the power. It's not being used. It is the power. It's not being used to break free. 
from these demons. It's lies. The star. Renewal. Peace. Peace of mind. Isn't that what you want? Don't, aren't you looking for peace of mind? If you want peace of mind, you have to allow heaven to help you. You have to restore your hope. You have to have faith. You have to believe. Wish fulfillment will come when you believe and you, you have hope and you allow. You have to make a choice, okay? We have the devil next to the star. Are you going to listen to the devil whispering in your ear? Or are you going to listen to your higher power, God, Buddha, whoever it is, listen, whispering in the other ear? What's it going to be? The choice is yours. What's it going to be? Which one are you going to listen to? You have a new, passionate beginning waiting for you with the Ace of Wands. It's like a fire is waiting to be lit. There's room for growth, there's room for expansion, and there's a lot of excitement. There's a new adventure waiting for you, but you have to step out of this dark period and stop clinging to the past that's holding you back. The time is now, right now. Should we get an oracle card? I don't know. What do you think? I guess we'll go with this deck right here. Oh, we got three. I hate that. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. Wonderful. Perfect card. Dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Pay attention to your dreams. They're telling you something. Soul power. Always remember. You're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Allow your soul to heal. Allow your people to help you. A 
allow your soul growth. Allow your soul growth. Some things have to go away so that you can grow. The time is now to find your power. Remember, you got two ears. One ear is being whispered in by the devil. And the other ear is being whispered in by an angel. Which one are you going to follow? The devil won't hang on to materialistic things, lust, obsessions, addictions, greed, sabotage, anything that isn't good, isn't healthy. That's what the devil will hang on to. An angel tries to get you to follow your heart, to follow your soul, to act in kindness. To do what's right. To be happy. To think positive. The devil will be negative. Which one are you going to do? Anyway, that's what I have for today. Talk to you later.